Hello, my name is Tristan, and today we have this. It's Pokemon tin. It is uh, been in my room for a while. I've been meaning to look at this thing. Comes with um, tells you in the back actually. You will find one of two for your Pokemon GX cards: Stormwing, Necrozuma, whatever GX or Dusk Main. We have the whatever this one is. But anyway, let me just get this open. Let me... I'll be back once I've got this. I don't know what you call it. Wrapping slips? I don't know. Back in a second. So, I have got this off. The silicone, as you can see. Pokemon tin. I don't know if you can see that name or not. I'll put it a bit closer. Oh, there you go. So, uh, this tin comes with. Four Pokemon trading cards, game, game the back, whatever. And a code to unlock a playable deck in the Pokemon trading card game online. So let's open this thing. There we go. That's the lid if you wanted to see that. Inside of the lid. Trying A. Alright, here we go. Let's just get this off here. We'll leave this card to last, because that is the card of the will keep you cannot steal same as the rest of these all the packs out so this this tin comes with four Pokemon trading packs comes with the Sun and Moon Ultra Prism Prism I think that's how you say it Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion the Steam Siege Pokemon thing and Fate's Life. So we will start with the Ultra. You can see that. I don't know if you can. Okay, there we go. Let's start with that now. Always open from the back. As you can see, there we go. Big mouse card at the bottom. Now, let's see. So, first card of the day is. The Dupida, is that how you say it? He comes with the attack bubble, which does 10 attack damage. There, if you can see it, I cannot actually see. That will go there. Then the next card of the day is Bronzo, as 60 HP, as does the Dupida, if you did not see that. He comes with Hypnosis, which puts your active Pokemon is now asleep. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, sorry. And spinning attack, which does 20 attack damage. He's got resistance to magic and his weakness is fire. Retreating cost to normal type, as you can see. Next is Alolan Vulpix. If you can see that, it's shiny. There you go. 60 health, I think that is. Yep, 60 health. He is a water type. The reg regular one is a fire type. He comes with the attack raw, which your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon and comes with icy snow, which does 10 attack damage. Weakness is to metal and retreat cost one regular. So the next one is a Lolan Sand, <laughs> Sand Shrew, sorry. We come with Fury Swipe, which does flip three coins. The attack does 10 damage for each head, which I do have a coin up here somewhere, which I'll show you in a second. That is the card there. That, there you go, that's pretty nice. Let me get that coin for you. This is my Pokemon coin. I don't remember where I got it. I think I have two of them. But that is a Pokemon coin there. Then we have... You can probably see it. I can't. So, there you go. That is Pachi Suru, who is an electric type with 70 HP. First 70 HP we have... He does snugly generate a for each what well, each of your bench Pokemon that has the nuzzle attack search your deck for a electric energy card 
and attach it to that Pokemon then shuffle your deck. Nuzzle. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralysed. There we go. So let's see. Um, put that one for last. In this deck. Empoleon, which is a. I'm not going to say because I don't know exactly. <laughs> but he has 160 HP. He is a, evolved from a Pinalup. I think that's how you say it. Total Command is his first attack. This attack does 20 damage for each fence Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. He then also has Whirlpool, which discards an energy from your opponent's deck and does 90 attack damage. Weakness is a 2 Electric times 2, and Retreat is 2 Normal cards. Or normal types, sorry. And we got the Electric Energy there. I'll keep those separate. Then we've got a Grot. Who, which has 110 HP, who does Mega Drain, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, and Razor Leaf, which is 80 attack damage. Mega Drain also does 30 damage, I don't know if I said that or not. Then we've got a trainer called Cynthia, if that's how you say it, I think it is. Shuffle your hands into a deck, then draw six cards. Yeah. Sorry, no, sorry. What? <laughs> Next is Manaphy. Is this legendary? I don't know. I'll have to search that afterwards. But I like to keep legendaries in a different place as well. There you go. Manaphy. I don't think so, but you never know. Deep Curtains. What? Deep Curtains is her first attack. Shuffle five. Blue. Uh, sorry. Water energy, not blue energy. <laughs> From your discarded pile into your deck, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, is Water Pulse, which also does 20 attack damage. She has 70 HP. Now we get the first Alolan legendary, I guess you could call it, which is Tapu Lili, or Lele, however you want to say that. And she has 110 HP with Psy Wave. Psych Wave? I don't know. This attack does 20 damage. Does 20 times the amount of the energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Magical Swap is its next attack. Move any number of damage from your opponent Pokemon to that other Pokemon where you like it. Weakness is to metal, resistance is dark, minus 20, which is one. That is also a shiny looking thing. Don't know if you can see that there. Go yeah, shiny. Alright, that is that deck. And we will go on to the next one. After I put this one to one side. Put that there. Next deck is the Pokemon Sun and Moon Invasion, which I will open. And I will make sure you don't see that card at the back. I do like that. So let me just make sure, because I know the thingy goes like that. Let's get the energy cards first and the trainer card actually. First card, this part is the water energy card. And the second one is the peaking red card. After that we've got the pillow one. If you can see that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pillow Swine is obviously evolved from Swinub and its first attack is Stampede, which does 20 attack damage, and he has Rest, which this Pokemon is now asleep here with 90 damage from it. 100 HP for the Water card. Alolan Graveler, which is electric, which is actually pretty cool now. Here we go. Okay, let me just move that out. A Lolan Gra Graveler does, has 100 health and its first attack is Cockscrew Punch, which does 30 damage. Second attack is Self Destruct, which, as it says, Self Destruct and it does 100 damage. Next is a Shiny Book kind of thing. I don't know what you call them. And um, that is Swablu. Swablu? Is that how I say it? And it only has Peck 10 damage and a 50 health. So kind of terrible. Nice it's shiny though, I guess. Not the best. 
Next in the deck is Geodude, which does 60 health. I would have thought he had more, to be honest. Defense kill, flip a coin if head, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks during your opponent's next turn, and tackle, which is 20 damage. Then you've got a Scuffle, which is 30 damage for flop and has 70 HP. Nice. Not too much about that one. Same with the uh, Pump Taboo, does has 60 health and has a Stonish. Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card and shovels it into their deck. And that is what she looks like. Or is. Or who I mean. Then we have a Star Room with the 60 health and a spinning attack. Sweet. Ooh, this one's not bad. Dino, D Dino, I think that's his name is. 70 HP, headbutt, um, for first attack is headbutt, does 20 damage. Surprise attack, second attack, obviously, does 60 HP of damage. Flip a coin, if tails, this attack does nothing. Kind of terrible, though, isn't it? This one here is Registeel. He has Turbo Arm for his first attack. Attack a basic energy card from your discarded pile of ability. His bench Pokemon, your bench Pokemon, which does 30 attack damage, and Iron Hand, which does 90 damage. If Regi Regice Ice is on your bench, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. And I am pretty sure he's a legendary. Pretty sure. There we go. Have a look at that if you can. Whatever. They will go wherever I put the last one. Wherever the last one. There we go, put that there. Next one is the deck. Steam Speed, which feels a lot heavier than the other one. There you go. So we will get this one open. This one is a bit harder to open, actually. Oh, never mind. I just So we will make sure I get that card out of your way. Let's see. Ooh, let's see. Oh god, is there no energy ones in this? Oh, whoopsie. Never mind. Anyway, first one, the first trainer card obviously is that thing. I don't even think I said what the other one did actually. Your turn does not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to. Attached to become M Gondavor EX, which is the Gondavor Spirit Link. Next is the Knight. Oh, it's both right and back. Sorry. Greedy Dice. You can play this card if you took it at phase down prize card before you put it into your hand. Flip a coin if head, take one more prize card. Quite nice. Then Clefit Key. I don't know. 70 HP for oh, it's got an ability called Wonderlock. Once damage, once during your turn before you your attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard all the cards attached to this Pokemon and attach it to one of your Pokemon as a Pokemon two card. When any damage done to the Pokemon, this card is attached to by attack from your opponent. Mega Evolution Pokemon. If this card is if this card is attached to a Pokemon, discard this card. Uh, the end of your opponent's turn. It does Fairy Wind, which is attack of 30. There you go. Max is a Mankey, Focus Energy, which is his first attack. During the next turn, Pokemon Flop attacks base damage is 50, then Flop is a damage. And his health is a uh, 60, like regular. Shelios. Tell us, how would you say it? Rain Splash, 10 attack damage, 70 HP, not too good there. Next is Krogunk. I think this is the one I've touched in my head in the TV show for a while. Other than Pikachu, of course. Poison up, if the defending Pokemon is poisoned, put three more damage counters on your Pokemon between turns. The, uh, this effect can be applied more than once with 60 HP. 
Tangela, this, I have this one for a while. It has the attack slam. Flip two coins, the attack does 30 damage more than the number of heads. Mega Drain, second attack. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon, does 40 damage. 80 HP. Annoying card if you're playing the game, by the way. Not card, annoying Pokemon when you're playing like Sun and Moon. Disorderly flip, flip four coins, this attacks us 10 damage, 10, 10 damage times the number of heads. Sweet. Health is 50. Okay, next card is Mankey, which is also a shiny one. Does 60 damage, does exactly the same as the one I said before, just has a nice shine to it. And this one is my favourite out of all the deck. And one of my favourites overall, actually, because I have not got many dragon cards. And this is Hydra Gun. I think that's how you say it. And he has 150 health. He is an ev he evolves from Zuelius, however you say that. He has Cruel Fang, which is 40 attack damage. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done by attacks from the defending po Pokemon is reduced by 40 before applying weakness and resistance. Next attack, which is a magic, dark, and regular, I think that is. Dark burn, 50 times. Discard as many dark energy attached to your Pokemon as you like. The attack is 50 times the amount of dark energy you discard this way. Weakness to fire. There we go. Isn't that this? Personal favourite out of that there. I'll do a personal favourite. Reggie Steel for the last one and Tapu Lili for that one. There you go, bang, hydrogen, favorite one out there. Last deck before we get to this GX over here, which has been on the camera, and I'm just going to put that if you want to Ooh, this one's harder than the last one to get off. There's always a one. There you go. And get on the mat, see and see that. bang, 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 bang. Um, ooh, nice. First trainer card is a Scorched Earth. Once during each play, the pe once during each play's turn, the player may discard a Fire Energy or a Fighting Energy card from his or her hand. If the player does so, he or she draws two cards. Sweet. Next one is Old Amber Aerodactyl. Look at bottom seven cards of your deck. You may re reveal an Aerodactyl you find there and put it onto your bench shuffle. The other cards back into your deck. There you go. I'm hoping this is coming out right because I might have to re record this video and it will not look good. Thinking you, I'm on. I don't know how to say his name. 90 HP, Sweeping cure, cure, cure is his first attack. Heal 90 damage from one of your bench Pokemon. Then Knock Away does 30 plus damage. Flip a coin, if I this attack does 30 more damage. So basically 60, I guess. Oh yeah, I need to show you as well. Oh, nice. Alright, next card is Snivy. 68 HP. First attack, blot, heal 10 damage from this Pokemon and does 10 damage. Solios is the next Pokemon who is 30 HP and its one and only attack is Mini Link. 10 plus damage. If Solios is on your bench, his attack does 30 more damage. Oh, whoopsie, whoopsie there, mate. I feel like my fingers are getting like all the attention here and I do not like Alright, next Pokemon is the Gothita. She has Psybeam. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. 60 HP, obviously. That will show you, I don't know. Then you have Mini Kino. That's how you say it. Did we have that at the start? Oh no, we have its evolution. Now, this has 50 HP and does Tail Smack with 20 damage. There we go. Next is Wisma, 60 HP. Um, pack Pound does 10 damage. And the next attack, Round, 
10 times as attack damage. This attack does 10 damage times the number of Pokemon that you have the round, that have the round attack. So basically you get a load of these, right? And you just get that attack and the bang. Then we have a Carbink, which is a shiny looking Pokemon. Its ability is safeguard, prevents all effects, all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opposite Pokemon EX. And its only attack is Power Gem, which does 40 attack damage, and he has 90 health. But he's shiny. Now this one, I think the last one is always just my favourite card out of the decks. Because this one is a dark type, his ability is Raging Roar. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may attach one dark energy from your discarded pile to this Pokemon for each prize po each card your opponent your opponent has taken. And then Dark Attack Dark Mountain 150 plus. Discard the top two Pokemon of your deck. This attack does 50 more damage for each supporter card discarded in its way. As you can see. I ran a tour if I did not say his name. So let's go over my favourite card out of that. Because I am out of breath from seeing all of them. So yeah, so my first one out of the deck, which was the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, Ultra, no? Yeah, Ultra Prism was Tapu Lili. Next one is Sun and Moon Crimson Rising. Actually, I'll show you. So Tapu Lili, first favourite, great cards. Second one, which was Sun and Moon Crimson Rising, was obviously Registeel. Third one in the Steam one, um, which I cannot find. Steam Seed is Hydrogen. And the last one which we did, which was Fate Collide was Tyranitar. There we go, that is a nice lot for my collection. Now for the one you've probably been waiting for, obviously it is the Dusk Main Necromas GX. I thought it's called Solitor or something like that. This is a GX card which has a 190 HPA, uh, HP. He is an Ultra Beast. He has Claw Slash and Metro Tempest. Claw Slash does 60, Metro Tempest does 220, and his GX attack is Sun Eclipse GX, which does 250 damage. You can use this attack once if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Uh, your opponent. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. That is what he looks like. Let's take him out of this. It here carefully does it, and that is what he looks like out of it. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. He is my favorite card, obviously, out of the entire deck. And we will actually, I will show you what I put my GX, EXs, and if I if I if I can if they're legendaries, I put them into a place as well. So I will be back. I am back, and we have this paper. This is full of. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, we have more packs in here. Oh, this is for Max Family. There you go. I don't think you can see that properly, but you know, we will move these packs up a bit. Anyway, and just move this stuff out of here. And get my little book out for the Pokemon. But before we do that, just uh, actually, no, too many in there. And we have got my little book here, which have I have got a Pikachu in here, which I, it's just Pokemon I like to be honest. I'll, I'll I'll make a separate video for this, but GX and legendaries of GX and there uh, GX. Then we have this one, the other Darkwing Necroman, which was another one from a set. This one can go behind him, and we will put him in there. Carefully does this. There we go. Nice and tidy to here. There we go. 
and Reggie Steele and Kathy Lili, Lele, or Lili, however you say it, will go into this one here, like so. And once we've got this all the way to the end, I will fill it up from the behind. If you look. There you go. That is that. There you go. Good, good. So that is my Pokemon block. Obviously, I have loads of Pokemon in my tray here. Some people actually have way more than me because they collect all of them. But I have quite a lot for where I am, for what I do. I have quite a lot. There we go. I'm just trying to. And now we just collect all of these. Let me just move these actually because I want to keep those on the top. I should sort this out really. I, I used to have it in a nice time where it'd be electric, then it'll be like dark, and then it'd be fire, then water, then whatever. But now, no, 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 no it's gonna be us. Oh, look at that. That is a chunk, and that was just from today. So we will put that into there nice and tidy. So next episode, we will open the Pokemon Fake Eyes other pack, Sun and Moon Crimson other pack, and Steam Seed. I obviously opened one before. You know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Put them there. Put them in there. And put the pack in there. My apologies, that shouldn't have been on. You know. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode, which might be me, possibly. Actually, I don't know when this comes out before or after my Cyrus Prime video. But anyway, what in one or two, two or three videos, maybe, or next video, I will probably be building the Lego Star Wars Yoda set, as you can see. That is up there next. The Darth Vader set I made last video, and yeah, thank you for watching. I have been Tristan Warburton, the host of Tristan Warburton, obviously, <laughs> and I am going to go watch John Wick 3. Thank you, and goodbye.